my experience is I can get very quiet at times, especially yeah. when I meditate a long yeah. time, which I do yeah. sometimes. And I can get to the stage where I can watch the thoughts arising, yeah. but it's quite, it's quite rare that I'll go more than a few seconds mm. without a thought arising. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get a feel e e even for what you... Even, even those few moments when you think you're there without thoughts arising, the you who are, who are aware of that state is the ego, which is itself a thought. Not if, because the, but the awareness comes afterwards. It's not like, well, I, I'm just, yeah. I'm just trying to the, make it as the practice I can for people. Yeah. But there's that stage where no thoughts are rising. It's not as if I'm thinking there's no thoughts arising because that's yeah. thinking. Okay. But afterwards, mm. I don't know what time okay. passes. There's an awareness that comes, which is a thought, thought awareness, that actually nothing seemed to have happened, and I wasn't necessarily asleep. So I'm, I'm just yeah. trying to get a feel yeah. for... Well, well th that is a state where you're getting close to that isolation, but it's not complete isolation because, according to Bhagavan, Bhagavan used thought in the sense of mental phenomena. And according to him, all phenomena are mental phenomena. According to him, the whole world is nothing but thoughts, nothing but ideas. Uh -huh. It's our own... Wow. It's it, like in a dream. What yes. we, we see in the dream, we see a world full of so many people, we interact with people and everything. So we're creating, yes. the whole time we're yeah. creating, yes. I'm creating you, you're creating me, we both create the studio, is that what you're saying? Well, how many... <laughs> no, I'm asking. The, yeah. the, the observer, the one who is aware of all this, is yes. creating all this. You say I and you, as if yes. there are two of us. But, but, it's but, it's but in, in your experience, you are aware Michael is an object. Michael is something other than you. You assume Michael is aware. That is your assumption. Like in dream, if supposing we were dreaming, supposing you were dreaming, yes. and you were having this conversation in a dream, okay. you would assume the Michael you're talking to is aware. But when you wake up, you realize that the Michael you were talking to was just your own mental projection. Yes, no, well, I, I, I have a feel for it. I was trying, but, just trying but, to get it clearer, <laughs> yes, the whole but, thing. But that's why I'm saying this, to clarify this, because according to Bhagavan, there is only one ego. And it's the, that one ego, who is that one ego? The one who sees all this. Yes. But this, and you, again, you mentioned this to me on the phone. I'm just trying to get it clearer in terms of the creation process. Mm. So I'm not talking about yeah. creation yeah. and yeah. evolution yeah. now. Yeah. I'm talking about no, creation no, no. In, this, yeah. 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 in this point yeah. in time. So what you're saying is that it's not pure. It's not pure awareness creating, is it? No. We're well, no. saying it's the group ego, the consensus ego. Is well, that all you call? In, in, how, how a dream is created, you're, you're, you're asleep, suddenly uh, you rise as an ego. As an ego, you project a body, which you experience as yourself, and through the five senses of that body, you project a world. All those things are in, ta in a dream, all that is entirely your own projection. The projection of whom? Of the dreamer. The dreamer is the one who is aware of the dream. So the, the one who is aware of the dream, dream is himself a creation. He is it, but it, it, the, the Bhagavan made it very clear, what is the first cause for everything is the ego. In, in one verse in Uldhav Napadu he says, if the ego comes into existence, everything comes into existence. If the ego doesn't exist, everything doesn't exist. The ego itself is everything. Therefore, investigating what it is, is giving up everything. Because in the previous verse, he says that if you investigate it, it disappears. Because it has no substantial reality. But the one who's investigating it doesn't disappear? Yes, the one who investigates. Because the one who investigates is ah. the ego that investigates itself. When the ego investigates itself, it disappears. What remains is pure awareness, which alone is real, and which alone always exists. Because when we again, when we talked on the phone, you talked about this 180 degree shift. Yes, yes. And that, when that, that happens, yes, that you're gone. That, that 180 degree sh shift is another way of saying isolating the self awareness. Because so long as we're facing outwards, 
there's a self-awareness of the background and there's awareness of other things. As we try to turn our attention back towards ourselves, the awareness of other things recedes into the background. We become more and more clearly aware of ourselves. When we turn the full 180 degrees, we are facing ourselves alone. So the so e ego is blown so up, it's the, gone. Every, everything, everything else is removed. Yes. And without awareness, the ego see, is something that is, is a false self-awareness that seems to exist only so long as we're aware of anything else. Bhagavan describes it as a, a, as a phantom. A phantom seems to exist if you're looking elsewhere. If, supposing you're walking through a dense forest at night. Yes. There's some moonlight coming through the trees. You see shadows here and there. You, you're afraid because it's dark. You think there are ghosts everywhere. But if you look at any of those, if you look keenly at any of those phantoms, any of those ghosts, it's not there to be seen. It's, 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 it has no substance. So the ego is a phantom but seems to exist so long as we look elsewhere. But if we look at the phantom itself, it's nowhere to be found. Game's up. Game's up. Yep. What happens then? Nothing. Nothing <laughs> happens. Nothing happens. All happening, the, the first happening is the rising of the ego. Yes. Our appearance as I am this. Yes. I am this body. Yeah. But the ego, the ego never uh, exists without experiences in itself as I am this body. The body is its projection. The body is, it doesn't exist independent of the ego, but yeah. the ego rises, taking itself to be a body and seeing all this multiplicity. So when the ego investigates itself and dissolves back into its source, what remains is just the pure self-awareness which is always there.